morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, when we meet your characters the first time, what's going on? I think I'm going through an angry phase, a kind of prolonged adolescent, kind of angry, punk rock, I only wear black and hang out with artsy people kind of phase. But I think I love him despite my efforts not to love him. What is it about him that your character falls in love with? I think because he's earnest and he's real and I think it's just probably the chemistry and there's a connection there. But she just wants to deny it. Yeah? What do you say I should ask you? Well, my character, uh, in, the, in the beginning of the film, uh, I'm, I'm on my way on a trip to see my brother and trying to figure out what to do with my life. And uh, and I see Amanda's character and decide to do that. <laughs> I guess that's what uh, I, I yeah. yeah. I mean that's it. What sort of what sort of values does 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 does, does your character have? What is what? You, how old is he? What's he looking for? What's 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 happening? In his I think life? at the beginning of the movie he's uh, he's probably twenty. You know he's kind of that like post college. You know what? You, you know, I, I think his his values are you know kind of homegrown in, in a certain sense, and I think he's more of an observer of life at that point in time. Um, he doesn't really see life as something that he's involved in. It's more like a movie that's playing around him that he's just watching the way that other people are living, and and what Emily does is forces him to live in the moment, even if it's just for one second. Now, the way they meet is kind of like uh, most young people's, or young guys' fantasy. Is it not, Ashton? <laughs> you know this. You want to shed some light on it? <laughs> uh, what They meet in an airport. In, uh, they don't really even meet. They just kind of see each other, and they, they make it. Uh, kinetic connection and then they make a physical connection and then after that they make a verbal connection. It's a non-verbal initially. Yeah, it's kind it's of a non-verbal non arrangement. She rapes situation. me in a bathroom. Oh, sort of. Sort of. I, you can't rape the willing, so I guess not. I, yeah. That's kind of what goes down. That would definitely be like a, a male fantasy of some sort. I would have to agree to that. Now, but it never actually happens in real life. Like you never, I've never ever once sat next to the good-looking girl on the airplane. And you've never, never had, you've never had sex on a plane. I'm not saying that. I've said I've <laughs> never sat like, next I didn't to say that. the good-looking stranger on an airplane. <laughs> now, when you when you guys first met uh, during, I'm, I'm assuming it was during uh, rehearsals or auditions when you were first meeting. What was it? What would you say about each other that that was the element that made it work for you? You know, the truth is, is I just thought he was just so good. That is really, it's as simple as that. I mean, it really is just as simple as that. I didn't even know if he was a nice person. I mean, I suspected he was because he seemed very kind. And it wasn't even the fact that we had chemistry, which I think we probably did. But I, I really just thought he was a really good, fine actor. And he was really open as an actor and I think that's what you need you know to be good and to me he really brought he brought the goods and so <coughs> um, that coupled with the work that I'd seen him do I just I thought that I thought that um, you know I thought that we would have something yeah yeah I already had before Amanda even came in I already had a crush on her and then when she came in uh, uh, as an actor, she had an ability to be funny and vulnerable at the same time. Um, and I don't know that there are very many actresses that are working, that I've seen, um, that are alive, that can't do that. There aren't very many. There's a couple. And Amanda does it better than most of them. <laughs> That's a hell of a compliment. Uh, uh, when you guys were growing up, <laughs> speak the truth. 
I should say it. When you guys were growing up, how important was this notion of, of finding true love? I don't know. That was not so much for you? I don't think guys, like, I don't think you're like, oh, yes, boy, let me do. go fall in love today. Like, I don't think that, like, I think guys are more busy trying to get laid than what they are trying to fall in love. And then if love, ha I think love happens on the way to getting laid for most guys. Like, I really actually think that that's the truth. And and more of their goals are, like, career-oriented. More, It's more like the character. It's like, you, know, you get the career and the job and the thing and then figure out that thing later, you know? Um, yeah, I've always had fantasies swarming around in my head about some, some knight in shining armor. What? It's true. It's true. It's like a, it's a male, female. Yeah, yeah. Gigantic difference. What, what was it about your upbringing? My big word of the day. Gigantic. Gigantic. What was it about your upbringing, Amanda, that, that, that sort of made you or influenced your decision to become an actress? I think, if anything, it was more of a rebellion rather than something that kind of, um, rather than something I was imitating or something I was inheriting from my parents. I think, you know, my dad is a lawyer and my mom's a social worker and my sister's a doctor and you know I didn't really my great grandfather was in show business but I I didn't really have it was something I kind of sought out on my own I don't know why <coughs> maybe because I was lonely and I wanted a lot of attention and when you're on stage you know look at me look at me and then if people look at you you feel really good about yourself even when you're really young I know I really think a lot of actors, it's that they, I mean, we didn't get enough affection when we were little, <laughs> so we, part of why we do it. It also has to do with having a great imagination and, a, and a, having this kind of, this great ability at, at, at kind of playing and mimicry. But I think also, I, I, I do, I think it has something to do with, with um, look at me, look at me. What about no? you, Ashton? Do you not think that? No, I agree with that. Okay. I agree with all of that. I, I think for me, mostly, it was just a desire to be somebody other than me. Yeah. I didn't want to be me. And so this way I could be somebody else. And nobody could see how I felt. Because you're seeing how a character feels, not me. And that, so I think that that's, that was it.